Hey Cancers, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. What's going on with you, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit for Cancers? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in, Cancers. What do you need to hear and know for Cancers? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit for Cancer. There's an Aries energy here. You could be the emperor. There could be an emperor around you. Some of you could be thinking about an Aries and Aries could be on your mind. This is their card, okay? Four of Wands. Okay. Wait a minute. And the Two of Wands. Some of you could be deciding if you want to move into a home. Some of you could be deciding where you want to live. Some of you could be planning a wedding. For some of you, you could be in the process of planning something. Okay? This could be a wedding for yourself or for someone else. Some of you could be into wedding planning interior design as well. Some of you could be deciding where to move. You may be trying to move overseas or thinking about traveling overseas. Yeah. Empress. I just looked at the bottom of the deck. We have the emperor and empress. What? Okay. So what's going on here? Mm. Some of you, you may hear from an, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone could be interested in you, possibly from your past. Yeah. You could have blocked this person or been irritated. I want to say irritated. You could have been irritated with this person, uh, possibly because they moved too slow. Knight of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands shows irritation here for someone who moved too slow. Knight of Pentacles with a certain offer. Yeah. This person had feelings, but they didn't show you. They didn't show you their feelings. They they wore a mask here. And now they could want to communicate with you, but you've leveled up. Some of you have leveled up past an air sign, okay? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me the emperor for cancer. Nine of pentacles. Someone's single here. They could be older than you. Virgo energy. Someone is older, wiser. When you get the... Emperor with the hermit, you see, it's like gray, gray. I'm getting older, someone older than you, okay? Someone who's very wise. Knight of Wands, fire sign energy. <laughs> They're wise, but I'm getting also fun. Like someone is very fun or youthful, even though they could be older. This person could be very financially stable or they look good. Someone looks good. They know how to dress. Okay, what in the world? What is this? For Cancer's Five of Swords, okay? The Devil Energy. Some of you could have a Capricorn Energy. Someone could be playing games. A bit immature here. Eight of Wands, okay? And the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy. Yeah, so I'm going to say this, Cancers, you could be moving on. Some some of you could have already moved on from someone. And this person from your past could be thinking about you. Because I'm already feeling the energy of two different people. You could have an emperor, someone older, someone who's older but still youthful, young. Yes, I'm getting that energy. But with this five of swords and the devil energy, I'm getting maybe someone else okay someone else here who could be reaching out or wanting to reach out with the eight of wands and the queen of pentacles yeah reaching out to you wanting to talk to you about what six of swords how you left how things left off page of cups they could want to apologize okay mm. show me the four of wands Queen of Cups, you. Three of Pentacles. Temperance. I still feel the energy of some of you. You could be buying a new home or you're investing in a new home. Some of you are, you could be like transforming your house. Maybe you're decorating. I was getting interior design. So maybe you're decorating with the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Temperance. 
some of you are just like patiently waiting. Like you're, you're doing your own thing. You're kind of in your own energy, your own bubble with the queen of cups and temperance. It's like you're waiting for things to kind of mellow out or calm down, or you've been in this place of being mellow or staying in a place of peace. Nine of cups, eight of pentacles. Yeah, some of you, you could want to work from home or you you enjoy working from home or you enjoy working on a house. Some of you, <laughs> I'm getting that very strongly. So that's for some of you. Of course, that won't resonate with all of you, okay? But nine of cups with the eight of pentacles, some of you are enjoying work or you're enjoying uh, fixing things or working on things with your hands. Hangman. Yeah. Now, I, I will say there could be a Pisces or a Sag that wants to work on things with you. I will say that judgment is here. And the Ten of Cups, okay? And the full energy. Yeah, I just feel like you may not be worried about a Pisces or this Sagittarius energy. You may not be worried about these people. You could be setting yourself free from those people with the full energy it's like, mm, I don't really care. Taking the leap of faith. These people may want to talk to you again. A fire sign, a water sign may want to talk to you again. Some of you have leveled up. You found at the beginning where I showed you the emperor and empress, you could have found your match already or you feel like this certain person is a match for you. Two of wands, show me. Strength card, you may have a decision to make. Possibly with a Leo for some of you. Ten of Swords. Some of you may have a difficult decision to end something. Possibly after there's been betrayal. Maybe some of you went through a tough ending or are going through a tough ending. Three of Swords. Yeah, there could have been a third party or some type of hurt disappointment. There was something very hurtful or painful here. When you get the Ten of Swords, Three of Swords. Okay, some of you could have gone through a death, death in the family. You could have lost a loved one within the last year, I'm getting. Okay, take that as it resonates. But it's like, you could have experienced some big tower moment. And it's like, now you're making a decision to move forward. Yeah, show me this emperor energy for cancer. Four swords, okay. Two of cups. And the seven of pentacles. This person, this emperor energy over here that first came out, this person could have went through a, a, a breakup themselves. This person could be in the process of healing or they've taken a long break from dating. And they've been waiting to find someone like you. Two of cups with the seven of pentacles. This person could have taken a break from dating. Okay. Yeah. What's Cancer's energy at this time? What is Cancer's energy? Empress. Whoa. <laughs> there it is. That is your energy. You are the Empress, Cancer. Whoa. Emperor and Empress. I showed you at the beginning. And she's back out toward the end of the reading. So this is your energy, Cancers. You are an Empress. And some of you have... You may have feel, or you may feel like I've been struggling to talk in these readings. It has nothing to do with retrograde. I've just been struggling to talk. Anyway, <laughs> some of you may feel like I'm waiting on that person that matches my energy. Well, whoever this emperor is, they're waiting for the same thing. So how spirit does when spirit aligns two people. It's like spirit is working on the both of you at the same time, unbeknownst to you. And it's like spirit knows how to draw the two of you together, align your paths so the two of you meet. I feel like you're going through that right now. Show me this uh, energy for cancer, empress energy, the death card. Yeah, going through a major transformation, justice, getting what you deserve, knight of cups, here comes the offer. Ace of Wands, it's going to be a major surprise for you. It's going to be a spark. When you get the Knight of Cups with the Ace of Wands, it's like, ooh, a spark is there. 
that you didn't think that you could feel. You may start off talking, uh-huh, maybe as friends for some of you. It could be an air sign. I said an air sign, a fire sign. <laughs> for some of you, you could have a new fire, uh, a fire sign coming in or a new air sign. I did see you leaving an air sign or something went bad with an air sign. Okay, an old one, but you could have a new one coming in. Some of you, you may be getting with a fire sign, okay? Or someone with fire and air in their chart, okay? Four of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you may be a little, like, cautious. This person may also be cautious, whoever this King of Wands is. They may be nervous, okay? I'm getting nervous energy, Four of Pentacles, they may hold back a bit. And Two of Pentacles, it's like they may sit, they may watch you. They may observe you because they're not sure. Okay, this person may be afraid to be hurt. But yeah, Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck, you may end up having a lot of fun with this person. Anything else Cancers would need to know? Anything else? Five of Cups, yeah, you've gone through a lot from your past, but new love is coming in. Look, you've had a lot of spilt cups. Some of you were with someone maybe for five years. Three, uh, The three cups are over here and two are over here. Some of you may have went through three different relationships or you may have been with a person for three years. Things didn't work out. I'm getting 2003, 2013. Something could have happened around those years, okay? Someone could be 23 that's watching this. As well, something significant may have happened this year as well in 2023. Something significant happened. Maybe you realized, oh, you know, I have to let people go. I have to let this person go. Five of Cups. So something was sad for you. But then it's like, if you just turn around, see, this person has their back turned. If you just turn around, new love is here. Ace of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. Yeah. Some of you, it's like whatever you've desired, all of these possibilities, it's like they're coming true for you. Seven of Cups, you may have options as well, okay? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. For Cancers, what do they need to hear and know? Advice or insight for Cancers? The answer is yes, okay? Gold Digger, some of you were dealing with the Gold Digger. Dealing with the person, I want to say this, if you were in a relationship or a marriage or anything that ended, you may have been giving a lot to this person, okay, investing in this person, and this person may have just been taking, 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 okay? And I'm I'm seeing gold digger as different, like, um, don't just think of it as money, think of it as well as someone like using you for emotional support. Okay, using you, okay, as a crutch for everything that they needed, maybe for shelter, okay, maybe using your resources, your your network, okay, so you may have been dealing with that type of person, anything else for cancers, whoa, that's a lot, we have communicate, we have spy, and we have gambling, so yeah, I feel like someone may want to communicate with you. Like I said, from your past, they could be spying on you, okay? And someone could be getting ready to take a risk with gambling, maybe wanting to take a risk to reach out to you. I also feel like someone is bad with their finances. It says problems with addiction or gambling, bad finances. So you could be dealing with someone who was a an actual gold digger with money, saw you as a ticket, like a meal ticket, <clears throat> especially if you were paying for things or you were, you know, very generous with this person financially, this person may have taken advantage of that, okay? <clears throat> air sign at the bottom of the deck. Some of you were dealing with a bad air sign, okay, from your past or you're currently dealing with an air sign that you may need to get away from, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, that air sign keeps popping up in the reading, okay? So that lets me know some of you were dealing with an uh, air sign that was not good. 
but you may have a brand new one coming in, okay? One that's on your level. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, advice for cancers, advice or insight. Let's co go to this deck. What popped out? <gasps> Y'all, this is the third reading. This card has popped out. I am done. Sanctuary. It says, take time out from the world. Spend more time alone, Cancer. Meditate or go on a retreat. So some of you may need to get away. You may need to, like I said, travel. You may need to, you know, sign up for something, a, a retreat, a class. You know, I'm getting pottery. I mentioned something with your hands. So you may need to create. Some of you need to build, create, work on something outdoors, connect with nature. I'm feeling that strongly. Use your create your creative side. So get more into your creativity. We do have dance at the bottom of the deck. Using your body. Start dancing. Get in, into some type of movement. Put on music around the house. Dance around the house. Sing in the shower. Dance in the shower. I feel like you need to move. Okay? Dancing could be like a release or an outlet for you. Okay? Anything else for cancers? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, anything else for cancers? Paradise. It says happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Some of you are stepping into paradise with someone. Look, soulmates is at the bottom of the deck. Soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. You're finding your soulmate or some of you have recently found your soulmate. And this comes at a time where you've ended something or you're trying to figure out what this other person wanted. It's like this other person was a user or they like to use people. You don't need that in your life. Paradise is here. It's time to enjoy your life. Happiness, expansion, playfulness, being very playful with this new person coming in. Alrighty. Okay, Cancers, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Take care. Bye.